Hi guys, Ginny here. Welcome back to my channel. So, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, had a great weekend, looking forward to the week ahead. So, today I had a Monday to myself, had no chores to do, had nothing to do, so I took myself off to Westfield in London and went to HMV. Haven't been there since before December with all the train issues and so forth like that. I just, I just couldn't be bothered to get buses all the way down there. And um, I picked up a few goodies, but also I've had quite a few things delivered um, that I got on eBay. And um, you may notice that I've done some vlogs where I just go straight into them. I know that's a relief that you don't have me in front of the camera. Um, so I've done about 10 of them. Um, I've released, I think, three of them so far. So I'm just going to be releasing them uh, at random uh, every so often. Um, and it's just the old editions that I had that I've never shown. So I thought, you know what? Um, a couple of Mondays ago, I had a burst of energy and I must have filmed about 10 of them straight into it. But anyway, let's get back to today's one. I did do some filming of my journey to HMV and I will add that into this vlog as well. So first of all, I had a post delivery today and it was of Avatar and I got this one on um, eBay and it comes with some really nice art cards, 3D art cards in there. So I'm going to show that as like a straight box and I'll probably film that tomorrow. But yeah, this cost me like six pounds. So I thought, oh, do you know, what? I'll get this before I go and see the other film, which I haven't seen Avatar Part 2 yet. Um, I did actually do a vlog of this film, um, Silent Running. But I don't think I've released it. I have a funny feeling that I deleted it by accident, which was a bit of a result because I actually got these art cards from Zavi, which is the three robots in it, Huey, Dewey and Louie. So I'm going to add this to this edition. I'm going to do an unboxing this as well because I saw this film um, and AJ and Matt were telling me about this. And I must say it was a great film. It, it was a bit emotional, um, but it was a great film and it will be one that I will watch a few more times as well. So I'm going to add these art cards to it and I'll do an unboxing of that. Well, I'll reshoot the video again. Um, and then today I picked up in HMV, Hitcher in the Dark. Now, this is an Italian film. Come out before the Hitcher with Rudger Hoor in it. Um, so I'm interested to see, um, does the Hitcher that we know bear any resemblance to this film here? But yeah, it was a nice little edition. It was £25, um, but it was the Italian collection. So they, these limited editions don't tend to drop in price that much. So I took a chance that it wouldn't sell out. Um, and then I went into the Lego store, funny enough, went into the Lego store and I was, oh, I was just browsing around. I didn't intend to buy anything in the Lego store, but then I saw um, these Lego Speed Champions. So I picked up this one here, which is Fast and Furious, Dominic Torello's car, um, his Dodge. And then there was a couple of guys in front of me, young guys, you know, kids, and they were buying like three, there was two of them, they were buying three each of this one, which is Too Fast, Too Furious, um, which is Brian's car in Fast and Furious, uh, Paul Walker, rest his soul. And um, I got this for 19 99 and there was only one left on the shelf, which I got now, it's doubled in price because they're out of stock, um, which is just insane. Jay over at Blu-ray Display saw my Instagram post and said they're out of stock now. Um, I think there's only a few left in a couple of branches nationwide, which is insane, but already on eBay, they're going up, they're already at 29, 30 pounds uh, already. And there's like two days left, which is crazy. But yeah, so I picked that up. I don't know if I'm ever gonna build it. I might just keep it for a bit, um, but we'll, we'll see about that one. And then whilst I was away at the weekend, um, I had a delivery of this bad boy, Enter the Dragon. I know it must be the fourth edition I've got of this film. But when I saw it on eBay, um, there was a buy it now price, um, which was I think 30 pounds plus postage, which was 35 pounds. And I seen this for about three months on there and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And the seller then put it into an auction and I got it for 22 pounds in the end. Everything in here is sealed up, but I do like these big box editions. So um, yeah, I got another edition of this film and I will do an unboxing of this as well. And then I picked up some uh, soundtracks whilst I was away. And um, there was a little um, shop in Stratford-upon-Avon. I went there for the weekend. And there's a little record store that you that is above a roller shop so i picked up a couple of bits in there and i've got this classic soundtrack this is the uh canned sugar range and this is the red queen kills seven times so i've got the uh blu-ray bit up there actually but i've got this soundtrack and um it really is a stunning soundtrack so i picked that up in the shop and then i also picked up this wonderstruck and the only reason why i've done that one and i'll go into it is because it's got a nice little pop up there as you can see um, and so I thought, oh, do you know what? It looks different. I'll get that. And it, it was £15, so I thought I'd just get it. I've listened to the soundtrack a few times and then see what happens with it. And also, whilst I was in HMV today, I picked up the soundtrack to La Dolce Vita. 
Um, so yeah, got this one today. Uh, I've never seen the film, but um, I just I thought I'd pick up the soundtrack to go with it. And that's what I've done. So what I'm going to do is I don't think I've got anything else new, just double checking, that I've had delivered. So that was my Blu-ray hunt for today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video, add in my journey to um, Stratford-upon-Avon, and then I will, over the course, probably tomorrow now, do some unboxings of what I've got here. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. If you can, give me a sub, give me a like, give me a comment. Always appreciated. And um, yeah, take care and see you on my next vlog. And for some weird reason, I'm standing on the left today as I film it instead of the right. Don't know what that means. I normally always stand in this position here, but I've swapped it around. Strange, maybe I'm a new man. I doubt that very much. I'll be having a few drinks later on. I'll probably order stuff, which means I'm the same Jimmy boy as I've always been. Anyway, guys, listen, take care, stay safe. And as I said, I'm going to write in a few vlogs of my trip to Westfield HMB. Take care, guys.